buddy. Hi. Wanna go get some food? Okay. Alright. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. We gotta get some food. Yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. This is exciting, guys. So yeah, last night the, I, we woke up like 3 a.m. The dog had just pooped everywhere, all over the room, like on the floor, on the walls, on his bed. So you know, the thing about Greece is, you know, they just they just got to start spending their money right. You know, they're they're opening up all these diners, and you know, I really don't think it's an effective use of all the money. So, so I really think the the, the key is everyone needs to just like stop voting. So we so we've been working on the CSS issue on the website. And We've been using the net duct from uh, ImageX, and uh... Um, do you by chance have any music we could play right now, maybe? Yeah, sure. Hey, what is that thing you got there, Colin? <laughs> it's a Bluetooth adapter, so I can play my phone through my stereo without having to plug it in. You should pull over and do a review. You know what? That's oh, a there's good... John's house! That's a good idea. So this is the FlexSmart GoGroove X2. It's a Bluetooth adapter. Um, that can play back music over FM or through a line in to your stereo. I got one for Lisa's car originally because she didn't have a way to play her iPod in her car because she doesn't have a line in port. Normally FM transmitters kind of stink, but this one is actually really good. I was surprised. You don't get that much static at all? No, there's almost no static when you're playing it back. So all you do is you turn it on here. And there's a little dial that you can use to set what FM station you're outputting the music over. I actually use a line out because my stereo has that, but the FM is nice for cars that don't have that. Then you turn on your device, you pair it over Bluetooth, and then you just press play, and you've got wireless music in your car. Gosh, that's exciting. Um, so it's also got controls on the front here that let you uh, play, pause, next track and back. And I'm actually really impressed with the FM output on it. Um, you think of FM transmitters, they're usually junky, they're full of static, they don't work very well. But this one actually works really well and uh, you, you get almost no interference if you're listening over FM. So it's, it's really a great thing for cars that are made in that nice period where there's no tape deck but there's also no line in port. Legit question, have you actually gone through like you know, significant drives because the, therefore the radio stations will change. Do you have yeah. any issues? Yeah, I haven't so had like any trouble. So like you'll drive to San Francisco and you can go on the same station and won't switch and get bad. Yeah, bad. Lisa actually used it on her way to San Francisco today to okay. listen to a Philadelphia radio station on her phone and didn't have any trouble. She never had to trouble. change. Never had to change her station. So what That's happens impressive. if you get a phone call? Can you just... Uh, then it's actually also got hands-free <gasps> built in. There's a very tiny microphone down here. Um, and it'll play your call over your car speakers, and then this microphone will pick up your voice. The microphone, not that great though. Yeah. Um, I, I but found it is hands free. It is hands free, but I found if you try to use it with Siri, yeah, it doesn't understand half the things you say. So that is one downside. <laughs> hey, can we go to the market now? Oh yeah, we were going to get food. <laughs>